Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 44 of Constructing Los Angeles Season 2. Welcome back, everybody. We're back on the city today, ready to continue to make some building progress. Today, we're going to be traveling a little bit. We're going to do that in just a second. But first, let me show you guys something I've been cooking up over the last couple of days. This is going to be the massive overview of the entire city and I'm starting to work on a brand new map board so this is a little different from console for those of you guys who only play on console um, basically on PC you can change the scale of maps and the default maps on PC are actually one to one scale so you'll see that if I zoom in on these maps that I have started to put in you can see every individual block, and the way I can prove this is on the baseball field. Look, whoa, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm zooming all over the place, but if you zoom in right here, the center of the pitcher's mound, there is one single piece of snow there, and as you can see, there is one block there. So it's a one-to-one -one scale of the whole city, and obviously this is just a small portion of the maps that we have built that's why i have this huge 19 by 19 board here which is eventually going to get all filled in and it's going to show everything from ld to danville to the expanded areas of the map and it should help us really start to frame what we want to do with this build on a high level so let's just quickly run through the whole thing before we get started here at the bottom that build right there where my crosshair is that's the side of the frat house of the college campus so basically down south is the college campus this is the main interstate highway that runs right through the middle of the map, and this is just going to go all the way up straight through the city. By the way, that green arrow there, um, that's the UR here, basically, so that's where we are standing right now. So again, the highway goes all the way through the city, all the way up underneath of the tunnel. Um, right there, as you can see, let me get a little closer. Right here, that is like the Los Angeles sign. Obviously, it's from an aerial view, so you can't actually see it. And then the highway continues all the way through to the northeast area, all the way up and out into the ocean. And then over in this blank space is where Danville is basically going to be. So we're going to get that filled in in time. But right now, this is what we have. Obviously, it's just a small portion. I also started to expand out towards the neighborhood, through the desert, the Alpine Mansion. But if you go all the way up here, this is what we're going to be working on today. Way, way up here really far away from the city this is a military base that i just got started on very recently and that is going to be today's activity that's what we're going to be working on so i'm going to teleport there in just a second but just getting a general sense of how far away that is from the city you know this is the alpine mansion right here the military base is all the way up here so as far as like expansion for the city i don't plan on going much further than that because at that point it's not even really a city it's just kind of like a state I know the server is called Dan Andreas, but I've been trying to keep everything kind of close to the original area of the world. But my goal, basically, guys, for the for the season two of constructing Los Angeles, my goal is to get this whole map board filled in with builds. It's going to be probably about three to four times the size of the original world. We're gonna, I mean, I'm not going to fill in everything. A lot of it's going to be ocean, um, and so I'll leave some uh, natural features like mountains and and forests and everything. But I'm going to be building stuff all over this place, and I'm going to start filling this whole thing in. Obviously, it's just a small fraction of it's been filled in so far. I'm going to fill the whole thing in, get all the, the maps put in. It's going to be really cool. So with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and teleport. And uh, that would be TP, not YP. And we're going to be going really far away, negative 550. Let's go 100. And then we're going to go negative 1050. We're going to zoom here. And we have arrived at the military base, which is what you guys just saw on the map. So this is about an hour and a half of work right here. Um, basically, I built one big runway for, you know, AC-130s, fighter jets, cargo planes. So they can run off this uh, track and, and fly into the sky. And, you know, there's big, uh, you know, planes and stuff all throughout the city that we're going to be taking today and pasting in this area later on in the video. But... Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just gonna work on some stuff today, you know, as much as I can. I, uh, I have a bunch of different things that I wanna add to this place. I would like to get some sort of perimeter put in as well. I'm gonna start off by getting one of these helicopter pads built, since this was something I, I wanted to, to get going here. So 
going to go ahead and start to fill this in. But yeah, this is kind of my new project right now. Military base here in here in the uh, you know the outskirts of the city. We're in the pretty far outskirts of the city right now, but it's totally all right. Let's see. This uh, H is not what I want. It needs to be different. Might have to make some changes to this. I was hoping that that would fit nicely in the center, but it looks like it's not going to. So let's make some slight modifications. But today I'm just going to try to work on as much as I can. So far we just have one runway and one plane hangar. This one isn't, this is just like ba really simple. I still have to add a lot more detail to this. This is basically just one block. It's all, it almost looks like, like a model of it. So it definitely needs more to it, but it was just a start. You know, we're getting things going here. Starting to make some progress on this. Starting to make sense of it all. But yeah, this is going to be the new uh, project I'm working on right now. Fort Dancudo, I believe is the name we're calling it. Like Fort Zancudo from GTA. GTA 5. So that's, right now that's our plan for it. That looks pretty good. So Fort Dancudo. And should be cool. Taking a break from some of the beach areas. I've been working on fixing that area. So I'm going to be updating with you guys with that pretty soon but you know I have all of my my plans my goals it's going to be so much easier to map things out once I have the map actually mapped out you guys have no idea how much easier it's going to be and we're really going to start to ramp up the uh the productivity of this world once we kind of have all that stuff figured out and I know exactly what I need to do so it's looking real good looking real good right now all right so there's a couple of helicopter pads that could be landed upon we got to get rid of some of this um, some of this sand. So basically, I chose to build that. You know, you might be wondering, like, why here? This is so far away from the city. Well, it, I have to deal with the oceans again, and I want to keep some of the oceans. Uh, but I did want to. I said that I wanted to build a couple episodes back when I was talking about this. I said that I wanted to build a military base in a desert region, and I'm doing just that. So, you know, we're here in this desert. And we're going to be doing this military base. So it's uh, it's going to have a fence and everything. I'm going to be making it look pretty similar to uh, to the fort from GTA. It's going to have some inspiration from that. Obviously, it already kind of does have a little bit of inspiration from that. we got to get rid of some of this lava here. But, you know, it's going to be my own thing. But, of course, you know, we've, it's always good to be inspired by other things. And that's what we're going to be doing. So... We're building this military base. This is something, another thing that I'm, I don't have a lot of experience building. So we're going to have to really, you know, figure this one out as we go. Uh, so I, I definitely want to build a fence today. And as far as the fence is concerned, I'm going to use uh, polished uh, andesite. I'm going to use the iron bars. I'm going to use cobwebs. And we'll see if this works. Not Bob Webbs. God. Oh my gosh. Terrible. And also, if I type in Bob, we can get ourselves a bow. And uh, now we have ourselves a nice little sniper rifle that we can shoot. <laughs> so we're at the military base. If everybody, if everybody invades the military base, you know, four stars, you can start shooting some uh, shooting some sniper rifle shots at them. Because that is the, uh, the bow skin here in this pack, which is pretty cool. Alright, anyway. So let's go ahead and get this going. What I want to do is figure out exactly where I want to put this fence. Or not really where I want to put it, but like how I want to build it. And this is what I was thinking. Five blocks, mm, seven blocks tall. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron bars. And uh, let's get the ID for this, 101. Okay, we're going to take that. We're going to fill it up to heat. Mm. Let's fill it up to right here. So we'll do a set 101. There we go. And then I was going to put some cobwebs on the top of that. Kind of as the barbed wire at the top. And then I was going to get some slabs out as well. Some stone slabs. And place them on the edges there. So that was going to be kind of the design for this fence. And now I can just kind of stack it. So I'll take that to there, look this way, and do stack three. And that more or less is like what the fence is going to look like surrounding the entire military base. So I'm not going to build it right here because I want to 
build things on this side. So I'm going to be removing some of these trees. And I want to basically build it right up against this mountain here. So um, there's going to be more hangars over here for aircrafts. There's going to be... Um, the fence is going to be kind of more or less connecting to the mountain and running along the edge of the coast. So anywhere from, let's say, like right over there, just above that cave, running down through here, around the coastline, and then connecting back over to the front of the runway, and then continuing over here around the sands, and then kind of connecting back over this way towards the, the mountains of sand on this side. So it's going to be like this almost valley of uh, military base design. So that's kind of what I want to do with it. And what I'm going to do now, though, is we got to get rid of some of these trees. I hate to kind of just, you know, torch the environment, but I got I got to make space. So we're going to do that right now. Let's see. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to go a few blocks into the ground here. Get this as our position one. And we just got to, we got to simply get rid of some of these trees. So I'll go over to right here make set this as position two and then we're just going to replace some of this stuff so we have birch leaves and birch wood 18 2 and 17 2 so replace 18 2 with zero and replace 17 2 with zero all right so now we have some space be way easier for me to kind of visualize this stuff so uh, what I what I want to do now is lay down some pavement and build another one of these hangars on this side so as far as the overall military base I want to have several probably six or seven hangars I want to have uh, a couple of like just like main buildings you know for you know whatever they may be for military operations I guess I want to have a couple of air traffic control towers on each side of the runway. I want to have a fire station within the uh, the base just in case of any issues. And and that's what I want to do with this. That's ultimately what I want to end up building. And of course we're going to have lots of different aircrafts and stuff which I'm actually going to wrap this video up today by moving some of those designs over to this area of the map. So let's see here. I'm almost considering, I think what I'm going to do actually, is I'm going to run the, I'm going to use this flat space here for more stuff, and I'm actually going to keep this hill, I'm going to connect the fence up and over the hill, and we'll run it down through here, and we won't have to take it as far as I originally thought maybe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff laid down, we're going to get some some of the stone we're gonna run it over here we want to make sure that actually okay this is on block 70 right okay so we got to go back down a little bit make sure we're on block 70 there we go and we're gonna run some stone let's say to right here so we'll set this as our position two and we'll set a one lay down those 7,000 blocks of stone there we go so now what I can do is build maybe two or three more. I'm gonna build an air traffic control tower right over here. And I'm gonna build two or three more hangars on this side. I think this is gonna work. And then as far as over here is concerned, we're gonna continue this stone, run it right up against the edge of this river. I'm gonna keep this river. And I'll have the fence go right up against this. And connecting over to here. This is this uh s this sand area is very. I don't know how it spawned like this. This does not look very good. So probably clean that up a little bit and and run the fence across. All right. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. We're going to get the the spots where I'm going to need the stone to end and where the fence to begin. Definitely need to figure out where the fence is going to go. But the uh, the the military base is going to be a pretty big project. It's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take a lot of planning, a lot of terraforming. So I think it'll be fun. And we can go ahead and set two, get rid of that. 
get rid of some of this as well. I'm thinking right across through here. I'm going to put down some pillars to kind of get a sense of where I want this fence to continue through in the in the second uh, coming minutes here. All right, so we'll get rid of some of this. Loop this over. Position two, set zero, get rid of that. And kind of connect that to right there. Get rid of some of this. Get rid of all of this. And then we can figure out this fence. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of this. Got a question of the day to get to in a minute, guys. Okay. I'm going to terraform this a little bit. Just a little bit. And there we go. Get rid of a few of those blocks. Okay. So we have the fence design. It doesn't mean it's going to be right here. I'll tell you where it's going to be. I'm going to show you guys right now. So these are going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall plus the slab on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. With seven blocks in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll place one right here. And basically it'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So I, I want the fence to run pretty much right up against the edge of the environment. That's not going to be stone. That way there's like a nice um, connection there that's very seamless. So again, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six blocks here. Six blocks here. Of course, these are going to be on top, and I'll, I'll come in later and fill in, you know, the rest of the fences and the barbed wires and stuff. On this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every single, you know, I'm, I'm placing more than seven blocks, but it's all about the distance. So, for example, the distance from right here to right here is seven, and that's what I want. I, I want them to be, they don't have to be on the same line, but they have to be, uh, on one coordinate, they have to be a certain distance away from each other. So seven, 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 you know, see it all, it all kind of makes sense. All right, we'll add two more right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just actually make that one perfectly straight. Um, you know what, let's move it up a little bit. Let's go two blocks there, and we'll go three and six. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So you guys get the you guys get the idea, right, of what I'm trying to accomplish here. And that's basically what the fence is going to look like. So. It's important that I get the perimeter figured out first. So the fence will continue around through here. I'm gonna terraform this. Um, and I just I just need to lay down a certain amount of stone, but I'm gonna most likely do something like this. And then, you know, fill that in later. But that'll continue and the fence is gonna run right up against the edge of the stone and the grass and wrap all the way around, run across here run all the way down on the edge of the coast like I said earlier and everything will kind of be nice and transitional from environment to like what I'm actually building so we have a nice combination of both all right all right so next up what I'm gonna do is take this hanger and paste it on the other side but don't worry I'm not gonna just simply copy and paste the hanger and call it a night um, it's not gonna be the same exact hanger I just need to get a you know an idea of the size of it and see like what's gonna fit over there So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I don't know why I'm placing those blocks Okay, so we're gonna get this and we're gonna paste it over on the other side Let's go ahead and grab it right Here might we might have a little bit of sand leaking, but it's not a big deal So we're coming over here and let's just get 
this is position one since I don't remember where it was. We'll copy it. We will rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm gonna paste it right over here. And hopefully this is gonna fit this space nicely. We'll paste it, see where it ends up. And okay, there it is. So let's see how much space this took. Let's take a look. So that's just one hanger right there and it takes up that much space. However, that's one of the larger hangers I'm gonna build. I plan on building smaller versions of that. So I think I might be able to squeeze in two hangers in this space before we hit the coast, which is something I wanna keep. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, I plan on running the, I'm planning on making this runway a little bit larger. It's, it's right now it's wide, but it's not super long. I know it looks long, but I would like it to go out maybe to like past this sand dune, like maybe like here. I would like, I would like it to be probably a good solid 400 blocks long, maybe even a little bit less than that, but it's, that's what I want to do. So let's get some more, uh, planning done right now. So what I'm going to do is right up on the edge of this sand here. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. We'll run this down. This right here, everybody. Air traffic control tower number one. The second one is going to be smaller. So basically, one of them will be for maybe like the fighter jets. The other ones will be maybe for the cargo planes. So that one's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Four, five, six, seven. So the other one was nine by nine. This one's gonna be seven by nine or seven by seven. Okay, let's do that to here. Run this across. There we go. And of course, the fence is gonna connect right up to the edge of these and go maybe just a little bit past it. And what I'm gonna do for the edge of this over here is rise the level of the sand so it's not like floating because I don't, obviously don't want that. Because right now I kind of just pasted this. Uh, this gray on top of this and another thing I, I need to do is add more detail to this stuff so I'm gonna be doing things like this making little lines that are going down and I really want to make sure that this is all not just gray that's something that I definitely want to work on and that's something I'm gonna do a little bit of right now we're gonna get some andesite and I want to just take like parts of it almost and and turn it into like different styles so whoop, that's not that is not right we need one three okay maybe it's one two one 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 five there we go so like this is kind of what i mean just like little parts of it that are going to be different colors that way it's not all gray but you know it'll, it'll be mixed on the corners so it's not all just like a flat design it might go in a little bit i don't want it to be all the same color pavement is kind of what i'm going for so something like what i'm doing right now and i'm going to do this all over the place does this doesn't mean that it's like not well kept it's just it's not all the same color so stuff like that so you'll see different parts of it kind of changing colors throughout that way it's not all just gray and i think that'll look good once there's a lot of it and once it's detailed more it's kind of hard for me to explain what i mean by that and then over here what i want to do is add some like not necessarily i'll, sh I'll show you guys let's start let's start building it right now not like they're kind of like outdoor hangers for jets so let's get some stone slabs here and we're gonna get some anvils and right now it's it, the one thing that's challenging about this is it's hard for me to do everything in one video you know this is gonna be a big project so i'm trying to take this video to explain what i'm trying to do as much as i can you know because it's gonna be impossible to make significant progress in 20 minutes Okay, so what I want to do here is basically create kind of like this overhang 
and there's going to be you know planes are that are going to be parked underneath of it so while i'm working on this we're going to get to the question of the day in the last few minutes of this video and today's question of the day is coming from green lego and the question is what are your thoughts on the new update with 60 plus new blocks so guys if because because you guys are not aware 1.12 is coming out pretty soon for pc minecraft and we're going to be getting a bunch of new blocks and uh couple, whoops i messed this up and you know some of the blocks that are going to be added are concrete blocks which are another option for coloring things and we're going to have uh one of the cooler blocks that i think has ever been added to minecraft the terracotta blocks or terracotta whatever you want to however you want to pronounce it but um those are really interesting because you can make them detailed and customize them whatever way you want i know there's going to be some amazing stuff that is going to come through from that so um i'm excited that there's going to be another build centric update coming out since it's been a long time and um I know Joe is already working. Oh, this is already, this is already screwed up. I know Joe is uh, also working on already adding some things for um, the new update with the city texture pack advance. So th that stuff is already going to be textured pretty much like right when the the pack is released, or right when the update is released. So it should be pretty cool, and we can start using the new blocks pretty much right away. Um, and I'm excited for that because I know I can use concrete blocks. That's going to be something that i can definitely utilize in the city in many ways so that's going to be great i'm excited for that and uh yeah i'm it's just like i said it's been a long time since there's been an update to minecraft that's been like okay let's give let's throw the builders a bone here let's give them some new stuff to work with i think that's what we're getting here so i'm happy about that i'm looking forward to it, it should be coming out pretty soon here i know there's been like little snapshots and stuff i'm not really into that i kind of just wait until it officially gets released before i delve into it but i'm definitely excited for that so thank you green lego for that um question of the day and you guys can leave some question of the days in the comments below and uh i appreciate you guys feedback with the uh the lake slash beach area i'm making some good changes to it right now i obviously didn't work on it this video but we'll be doing some updates to that sooner rather than later gonna be spending a few episodes out here uh pretty far away from the city doing some military base stuff it honestly makes me want to change the name of the series to you know dan andreas or because you know at this point we're kind of far away from ld we're about a 400 blocks away so is it really still constructing los angeles at this point i don't know it's just a name but we're wrapping things up right now what i'm gonna do is just get this little hanger overhang thing built real quick and what i'm gonna do is start to work on getting some of these planes pasted over here that's what we're gonna wrap things up with so what i'm trying to do right now is build it's not gonna be like a completely interior based hanger i think that's the key to it but i still think it's gonna be cool so each one of these pillars of cobblestone is gonna get filled up and this is almost like a little awning thing where a plane can be parked right underneath it. I don't know if a plane's going to fit in there, but I'm going to check right now. We're going to go fly back to the city. I'm going to go grab some different designs for planes. I'm going to bring them back over here, and we're going to see what we can do with them. Okay, everybody, I took one of the big cargo planes from LD, and I parked it over here in the military base. And as you can see, this is a not this is not a small plane right here. This is not a small plane. Is it going to be able to fit in a hangar of this size? It's actually not going to be able to fit in this hangar. You know, in theory, if the... You know, let me, let me, let me give you guys an idea. Let, let's paste another one inside here. Look. As you can tell, that ain't going to fit. <laughs> that is not going to fit. So we're going to have to build an even bigger hangar for one of the big C-130 planes here. The big cargo planes. However, those hangars there will be perfect size for... Uh, one of the cargo ships uh, that I have carrying planes over the Alpine Mansion or one of the jet planes that is flying over the city, which I was planning on putting those underneath of that design once it's finished. But here is one of the planes. As you can see, if it was taken off right here, in fact, let's go ahead and uh, let's give that a let's give that a go real quick. Let's uh, let's try that out. I'm going to do a quick rotation here. We're going to rotate the, this thing 90 degrees and we're going to paste it. We're gonna see where that ends up. Oh my god, I was actually one block off the middle of the runway. 
That is amazing. Okay, let's let's undo that. Let's try that again. Just out of dumb luck. Look at this thing. As you can see, that is not a small plane. But that is cool though, right? Having the plane take off on the runway like that. And then there's like another plane right behind it, ready to be uh, taking flight as well. This is the type of stuff that we're going to be adding all over this base. There's going to be tons of planes parked in places. There's going to be planes flying over the base. Helicopters I'm going to start adding as well. I'm going to have to build a, so a solid helicopter design besides the, uh, the cargo bob. Uh, like a military helicopter design. I have a few of those in Danville, but they're really, really old. So maybe I have to make a new design for that. We can do a little tutorial for it as well. But since I already have tutorials for this plane and some of the other ones, so... Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video of CLD. We're not even really near CLD. This is more of a constructing Dan Andreas video, but it's uh, it's all going to be under one roof, aka one map when it's done. And we're kind of in the uh, we're in the outer reaches of the city right now. We're in the city limits, building the military right now. So, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. This 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 place is going to be starting to to add. There's going to be more things added to it over the coming days and weeks and so much more detail needs to be put into this place that is very important so it's going to take time but it's going to be a fun experience building this thing so anyway guys thanks for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy it and if you did drop a like on the video that would be absolutely sensational if you did that and make sure you leave some question of the day submissions in the comments below that would be also sensational as you guys know and I will catch you guys in a few days for episode number 45. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lax. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.